Once again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night to some of you, depending on your time zone. This is Radio Biafra Extra. For the avoidance of that, we are streaming live on this very faithful day, the 15th day of the month of July, the year of Chuku Kika Biyama 2019. I beg your pardon, the 16th day, I beg your pardon. Radio Biafra Extra is streaming live through Radio Biafra London. Radio Biafra London is being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Uchi Ukafo Mefo. He is from Abatete. Abatete is an Anambra. An Anambra state is Biafra land. He is the one and the only man that came out and said the heart of this project will not see corruption. In the absence of our leader, he did all he could. He would have been a mortar now. Maybe we would be boasting of his private jets. But he said, the heart of this project will not see corruption. There are many people who are making money. Their own version of IPOBs make money. Be a big boy. But if you will say, this man did bad, and you think your own will not, be, will not visit your record, you are lying. As which you come from before standing on the deputizing capacity. For Mazen Nandi Okukano. Mazen Nandi Okukano is from Afari Beku. Afari Beku is no more here. Umwahia is in Abia State. And Abia State is Biafra land. We cannot talk before now until Chuko Kikabiyama sent him and he anointed all of us and now our mouth can talk. Our leader and his deputy have been able to exhibit an outstanding character before all of us. 
not just because before Biafrans, before the black race, before the global community. Who is that man that can take a kingdom by worse, if not action? IPOB did not get to where they get to because we talk. No, our action prove us. If you if you doubt it, just stop all this intimidation and harassment. Let us blow a whistle and say IPOB, let's go. You will discover that our leader Mazen and can honestly command the soldier that when they march, they will drink a river dry. I do not expect you to understand it anyway. You will understand that even your children have been divided against you, except you, Ibiafra. If you are a father against IPOB, you are against your children because your children now know the truth. Most of you think it's AK-47. We will decapulate you. We will make sure you will have no hiding place. That is our job, first of all. And after which, we will be ready. Nigeria will be ready, ripe for taking. I am George Onibe. I am from Abo. Abo is in Delta State. And Delta State is Biafra land. And at least in this moment, I served the indigenous people of Biafra in the capacity of the African rep and the Nigerian International Coordinator. We must acknowledge the almighty creator, Chukuki Kabiyama. Men plan, but God perfect. Men plan, God perfect. That is why the Bible says, He that watches over a city, watch in vain, except God watch over that city. Any builder build in vain, except Chukuki Kabiyama build. When you are there, you are in vain. Uh, uh, let's, uh, Manson and Kano have tried, let's remove him and then uh, uh, put another person. He has tried. Who told you he's tired? You she. Uh, the the the, the MFO have tried. He need to rest. Did he tell you he's tired? Is there or a, a pension or how do they call it? Is there retirement now? Freedom fighting, you she. But we know where you are going to. But it's very good you know where we are going to. Yes, we must continue. Don't let anybody deceive you. The way you think we are coming from, we are not coming from that place. You don't understand. That is the point. He said Nigeria will bleed shame and disgrace. They will bleed shame and disgrace. Nigeria will bleed. Most of you were talking about blood. No, we are not blood sucking demon. Honestly, if I have a privilege to kill Fulani or Awosa, I won't even do that. I won't even kill Yoruba. Yoruba has killed our people indirectly more than you can imagine. But believe me, I don't want to kill Yoruba. Believe me, I will some have murdered and raped, and you can't, I can't even begin to say what they've done to our people. But believe me, I, I don't want to kill Awosa, honestly, or Fulanis. I, I just want them to be on their own. Honestly. What am I saying in effect? When we say, when our leader said Nigeria will bleed, some people say, oh, they are going to shoot us. No, we will not shoot you. But at the end, we wish you were shot. A leading Christian pastor, anointed pastor, went to America and he said to them, eh, the issue of killing is uh, over-exaggerated. It's been over-exaggerated. You know it's grammar. For those of you who don't understand English, your Yoruba pastor, one of your Yoruba pastor from leading Christian church, Ushibanjo, he went to America and America asked him, are they killing Nigeria? He said, no mind them, then they over talk him. So when you hear over exaggerated, over, over talk him, then they put salt and maggi, and so he tell them. But when they kill a Yoruba, fellow Yoruba boy, a Yoruba boy daughter was killed. Ushibanjo went there and said, this killing is getting out of hand. Inside the same month, or in less than one month. That is why when Mazi Chimefro comes up and says they are speaking with the boosters of their mouth. Most of you will not understand. In the morning, they said, no, the killing is not real. They kill his own brother. Now the killing is getting out of hand. And now he wants the same Boko Haram army that are killing people to mount the whole road. And then there is another Yoruba telling you that uh, Igbo people killed uh, that girl. Uh, Evans was the organizer. 
And the Igbo people now, I'm talking to you, I've taken over the whole land in uh, your state. Igbo Fulani, Igbo headsmen. Igbo headsmen are raping people. Igbo headsmen are taking over Yoruba land. Igbo headsmen are killing Igbo people. Igbo headsmen are rampaging everywhere. Please rise, let's stop Igbo. Ndiyoshi. Ulinia, Bara, Udambanza. Look at them. No, just look at them. You've got to hear more. You will hear more. Don't worry. That topic this morning is simple. Prepare yourself. Biafras, prepare yourself. Uh, when I look at people, I begin to see the level of their knowledge and understanding. I begin to see how insincere most of them are. But if you think he said it is what brought us here, you are very hopeless. Let's look at Maze Nandekano, our supreme leader. He's eminent. How did he get our attention? He was sharing money, right? Or he was lying. I should say he's a blessed man because he has not lied to us. Because by now, there are people who would have laid him open. But every area they try to fought what he has said, it backfire and boomerang on them. So look at all of them. He said, defend your land. They say, no, he's calling for war. It's war. The same people now are asking you to defend themselves. Are they not calling for war? He said, Nigeria is a zoo. He said, no, he's insulting us on a in the madu. Is Nigeria not lower than a zoo? He said, your leaders are corrupt. He said, no, no, this is evil. It's unacceptable. Are they not more than corrupt? He told you British government is behind all this. He said, no, 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 no. Can't you see it now? He told you they are coming to kill you. You say it's a lie. This is a propaganda. Are they not killing you now? The next one remaining is that they will kill you. And you will call IPUB. We will not come. You know, you see what, what, what is there? Is there uh, let's, let's call IPOB. And you think you are going to bamboozle us? Let's, let's follow it bit by bit. Because maybe sometimes you don't know that. He said they will kill you. They started already. And some of you are still doing gra gra. You are doing buga buga. Don't worry, you never know what is coming. Told you before, anything you hear on Radio Biafra is correct. I told you on this platform that they will come for you. You see, let me tell you one thing that people don't know because you don't know history. I forgive some of you because in your schools in the zoo, they don't teach you anything. I want some people to actually go and sit down and study the history of Islam. Islam is the only religion that has never stopped growing. Islam is the only religion that has never stopped expanding through militancy and war. Others have stopped, only Islam. Christianity is based on convincing people, telling them about the message of hope and restoration of Yahweh Yeshua. Of course, immensely corrupted. That we know for sure. But Islam believes in expanding through war. And that war is coming. Now, I must be put on record. And Uche Mefo, I want you to record this very broadcast and play it all the time for our people to also understand and listen very carefully. And I will say it tonight. And if you come to me in the future, I'll refer you to the broadcast of the 8th of June, 2015. And that I made this very comment I'm about to make now at precisely 10 minutes to 8 p.m. in the evening. If ISIS comes down into the zoo. Of course, they are part of Boko Haram anyway. If they fought, not if they, because they are forging alliance already. If they launch any attack with the name of ISIS on the zoo soil, if you come to us to give us weapons, I will decline it. I will allow them to kill all of you before we mount any counteroffensive. offensive Let me tell you one thing that you don't understand. Some of you, you claim you went to school, but you didn't go to school. Because if you went to school, you will understand how Islam works. Islam is coming for you. They must come for you. It's a M-U-S-T, must. There is nothing anybody can do about it. Only you can defend yourselves. This headline here is a confirmation if you need one. I think Abubakar said it yesterday. Prepare. Prepare yourself. They are coming for you. But what way are they following? Now, before I continue, let me address you. Emila. Email Emmanuel, you said, why do you guys always have quality, uh, 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 very poor quality video? Can't you do, can't you have something to be done? Who is you guys? Eh? Emmanuel, 
Imela, who is you guys? Are you not a Biafran? Do you know the technology and the maneuver I have to do to give you that quality video? At least your brain should be able to receive a little bit of coloring. I'm just trying to add flavor to your coloring. This is audio broadcast. I choose to come on Facebook, giving you audio coloring so you have sense. If you are very interested in this, you tell us and say, what do we do to give you very wonderful audio? And then I will talk to you. You people are busy sponsoring animals. But the real thing that will deliver you people, you are neglecting it. At the end of this program, no IPOB member will even share this video. But when one lunatic talk from somewhere, they are sharing it everywhere. Thunder will fire all of you. Don't worry, we are taking record of you. You think the leadership is not watching you? IPOB, many people inside IPOB, saboteurs, they don't share my video. It's strangers that share it. And you, maybe you are one of them. But then they are sharing video. Oh, Ada, Ada, Nugu, eh, Ada, Abo. Hey, this one is very formidable. The people that are killing us indirectly, contractors are the ones you share their video. I just look at all of you and mock you. You think we are here for the Gangaru Jongnen? Okay, Mumu Vumnanya. So, sorry, uh, 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 email line, Emmanuel. I'm not trying to attack you. Bring money, let's change the facility. Do you know how we are able to give you that color to make your brain reason normal? But you don't know. But let's continue. He said they are coming. They are coming for all of you. If you are mad, don't come to my territory because I will cure you. It is Ken they used to cure madman. I will cure you. But who has on what you call your own? Or could cause you be world hero? You know what I need here? I go on. How prepared are you? Are you prepared? Are you ready? These are some people think it's entertainment. Put champagne and be listening. They are mad people. Get the information and get out there and prepare yourself because he's coming for all of you. He told you this. Prepare yourself because they are coming. But most of you are still sleeping. Oh, your parents are in Jamaica and they are in Europe and in America. We are in Biafra land. We will make you understand. I will suffer any Europe. I don't even know what is coming for them. If I say I want to travel abroad, I know millions of IPOB members that will do all they can to make sure I'm there. But sometimes there is a reason why we are here. If we die, we die. If we perish, we perish. Stop fooling yourself and prepare yourself. Because this rain, this cloud that is gathering, it is going to rain and it will beat all of us, both great and small. Everybody will feel this impact. When I see some people, they come on social media. Oh, give us God, we will defend and we're going to kill everybody. We're going to do this one. We will do this one. We are formidable. You, you don't have sense. You are very much a bushmeat. Because it has begun already. Can't you, don't you have sense? Must you talk because you can talk? You think I'm, if you know me on real life, I'm a very slow talker. Very, very slow talker. If you stay with me one hour, you may hardly hear what I say. It was, uh, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? I shout, I put so much energy to, if I finish now, I can eat almost 20 basin of Lulu. Because to talk is so difficult for me that I put every energy in me to push a word to come out. And so we, we just don't like what we are doing, but we have to do it. You get ready and prepare yourself. Because this thing you people are doing, you don't know what is coming. I have seen politicians. A different era and different stage. What they do is because they want to win election, they buy gun, they import ammunition and give it to the miserable youth. They give it to this miserable youth to fight and still snatch ballot box for them. But the point, there is one thing to give them gun. There is another thing to retrieve that gun. Now, when they have won the election and they are lead into office, at the end of the day, they call those boys and say, give us back your gun. They never return the gun. Now, for you to know those people who actually bought gone, empower the ignorant youth to rig them into office while British government is supporting them. When you hear that there is a high level of terrorism, there is a high level of Islamism, there is high level of jihadism in any region, know that they are the ones who have bought more weapons for their youth to rig them into office. Today, tomorrow is Boko Haram. Next day is Fulani Hesman. The other day is Jihadist Hesman. The next one is Mihaiti Allah. The next one, different, different name. This is to tell you how much the governors from this region has spent on their ignorant youth to uh, empower them. Now, come collect the gun now, Setiana. We know how Shekha will start, Boko Haram. We know where they are today. So when you say, oh, give us gun, we are you think we are ignorant? To give you gun is one thing. To collect the gun is another thing. Go and ask all these criminals.
You think we are ignorant, but what we were telling you that when you hear Fulani Esmen Muko around without sentiment, it has started. Prepare yourself because all the gone, all Awosa and British government gave to Awosa ignorant youth can never be retrieved. And until they get their own full lion share of the loot from Biafra land, they will never rest. And look at one of them is lamenting. It's, it's not this actually a Boko Haram attack, it's not actually it is, uh... a Boko Haram, it is a bandit. An armed gunman. Uh, okay, he said he's an armed gunman. But is there any difference between Boko Haram and armed gunman? So when you hear them say Miyati Allah, Fulani hates me, Boko Haram, bandit, Okototorudu, Okototorudu, Wemfans, all of them, it is the same set of people. They empower their ignorant youth to lead them into office. Now to collect the gun has become an issue. Now they must blame it on Igbo man. Tinubu have started it already. Fulani hates men are Igbo men. Miyati Allah is Igbo men. Salamido Sanisi is Iboma, Nigerian terrorist army is Iboma, Nigerian Navy is Iboma, Nigerian police is Iboma, Nigerian ISIS is Iboma, Nigerian British government is Iboma. It has started already. Look at that. It is not really Boko Haram. If you like, change all the name. British government did this. They change our name. That is why Abo man, Anicha man, Anyocha man, Ndokwa man, Osimili man, Okwane man, Urobo man, Isekiri man, Ogoni man. All of us say we are not Igbo, we are not Biafran because you succeeded in changing our name. I'm from River State. You don't tell me I'm from Igwocha, Ewanon Pama. That gun you give to them, you can't retrieve it. You will bear the pain and the brunt. You never know what is coming from. Let, let, us, let us go back and look at what our Safulani terrorist is telling. He's in the National Assembly. If I had known this morning, I would have come out with a video of them fighting in the hollow chamber of the zoo called Nigeria, Anon Pama. Macho Bushmit. Listen very well. He's lamenting indirectly. But yet, even though he's lamenting, he's blaming it on the Biafran people. It's not actually Boko Haram. They are bandits. Then a Tunubu will come and say, this bandit is Evans. It is not actually a Boko Haram attack. It is a, an armed gunman that invaded, uh, invaded my house this morning around 1 a.m. Uh, the people who entered my compound are about 13 in number, all carrying uh, AK-47 rifles, dragged my father out forced him to sit on the floor, asked for the room of my younger brothers, and they dragged out my uh, two younger brothers who are actually there at the time of the attack, and they handcuffed them, uh, asked for my mother, and uh, my younger brother told them that my mother is late. So they asked for my stepmother uh, and they dragged her out. She gave birth 11 days ago. And uh, in the course of doing that, there was an alarm by neighbors and they started shooting into the air. In that process, my uncle, um, Elder David Della Baya, JP. Let me stop there. He can yap and yap. The same people they gave gun to kill everybody is now raping their mother and their father and their wife. And now they are looking for her to say, no, it's Igbo man. When we caught one of those uh, Fulani, it's Igbo man. Now, look at it now. All of a sudden, they have arrested three Fulani headsmen. But who, why will you allow them to deceive you? You, United Nations, British government, American, those who say they are war power, please send your investigators. Let them come in Nigeria. Let them come into Nigeria. Go to every police station. You will never see a war someone locked up anyway. It's impossible, irrespective of the crime they commit. The Yoruba you will see, they come in in the morning, they leave in the evening. Because all the DPO of police station in Biafra land, all of them are Yoruba. If prison in Nigeria is beat off with Biafrans, prison in Nigeria is beat off with Biafrans, any police station, anybody arresting, be murdered, they are Biafrans. But when will Biafrans get sense? You have to get ready because it's going to happen, man. It's going to happen. It will happen. 
Maybe I should not say it when I come and then I say, Allah for now, for now, I don't work, baby, I carry can't give me. You know, I say, Amen. Because thunder go fire your mama and your papa because you refuse to get sense. Amen. You wound do she ne wound yara. Because I'm speaking, what, what did French, uh, uh, Rome speak? Is it Latin or what did they speak? Latin. Ndiara non pama. So we spell it out for you. We are very happy because we know what we do on this platform. It will echo into eternity that we said it the truth, only that the people refuse to accept the truth. But whether you accept the truth or not, we will not allow you to make a mockery out of us. The tools of extermination has been finally put in place. So prepare yourself. Killer headsmen are on rampage as we talk. In many parts of the country, zoo called Nigeria, Praying on the mountain will not help any of you. Talking on social media will not help any of you. It will not solve any problem. So prepare yourself. The, 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 the Mandola or Blancata of ordinary Nigerian men have been damaged by politicians. And that is why our youth have lost the, the necessary social value and therefore cannot think properly. I see some people, they are 40 years old. You are 40 years, you are 30 years. In the morning, your mommy will call you and say, sweetie, sweetie, honey, 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 have you eaten? Please wake up, honey. Driver is waiting for you. 40 years, 30 years. You are allowing your mother to call you, sweetie, honey. Oh, they have looted our resources, Abi. You are the hopeless and the useless youth I have ever met in my life. Check your father history. If you are listening to me, you are youth. And... Even four o'clock or five o'clock, your mommy is coming to tap you with a cup of tea. Your mommy is evil. Your daddy is trying to make you feel comfortable. Your daddy is evil. Look at your daddy and your mommy record. Your daddy did not go to school. Your daddy went to farm to go to school if he did. Your mommy maybe did prostitution before she could get a stand to marry your daddy. They suffered. They suffered. And now look at what they are reducing you to. In my own time, in my own time, I left home at the age of 17. I started catering for myself. Believe me, I come from a very rich home. Only big family. In the then former Bender State, before you count seven millionaires in Bender State, my family name will be mentioned. But let me tell you, I left home at the age of 17. My father had everything he can to take care of me then. So is my mother. But I have to fend for myself. I'm George Unibe for the avoidance of that. Women no man, me unya munibe, uno a boy in abundant. And if you don't understand what I say, I can't help you anyway. But we were taught to be strong. Look at all these people claiming to all of them work very hard. Look at what they are turning you to, Bobozi. Bobozi, your 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 physique, your mendola and black cutter have been damaged. You see somebody almost 50 years, he's the youth of your community. You cannot slap hell out of him. Do you know that Obasanjo was five years when he started ruling Nigeria? Do you know that Nandi Azikiwe was three years when he started ruling Nigeria? Do you know that Aziki, all the people you're funded for all of them? You are three, seven years, eight years, nine years. They told you that uh, how do they say it? A fool at 40. 13, 25, they have started ruling you. Look at the same 13, 20. Even at 120, they are still ruling you. And you are telling me you are youth. We are formidable with the youth of Nigeria. Look at you. Uh, what, what do they call this program? Is, is it African Big Brother or Nigerian Big Brother? Look at what they are making full of you. Now, now your musician will come out and say, I don't juggle do me, I don't juggle do, eh, hey, yeah, I want to feel like it. And another one says, I'm a baba me, olowo. I'm a baba me, olowo. What, what do they call this Yoruba guy? What do they call him? I wanna the banjo, I wanna smoke Igbo, I wanna smoke Igbo. Look at you, look at you, you youth. You think you are Biafra? We will wash you with bleach. I I pull. We will wash you properly until every level of stupidity is left out of you. Don't get ready and think your daddy money will save you. Go and ask Chibuke Amichi. He can't enter America. All those things they are doing, they think they are running away from anybody. When we are done with them, they will wish they never come against IPOB. They've had Nigeria before it's too late. Prepare yourself. Tubuka Amechi is busy linking railway line between every terrorist in African country to come and invade his own so-called papala. We, we told you he's born by Yoruba man. Yoruba pregnanted uh, Ebe that woman to give birth to that lunatic. Most of you will not believe. Why is Tubuka Amechi not developing his so-called father house in Ubima? We think we are ignorant and non palma everywhere. You know, go America now. No, go America. Buhari wife was involved in, in, in Halle Button scandal. So is Atiku and all of them. 
Immediately, I think you want to contest for uh, president. All of a sudden, he went to America. You think you can fool America? You can fool some people sometimes, but you cannot fool the people all the time. Eh? Look, at, just look at you. Just look at all of you. The youth brain has been so destroyed that they cannot reason properly. This problem is political. That is why reaching may not solve the problem. Yeah, give us a ranking. Huh? It will not solve it. There is nothing that will solve the problem of Nigeria except Nigeria is dismembered. So give uh, full any land, it will save everything. It's a lie. Give them even your life. Give them your wife. Give them your children. Kill yourself for them. The only thing they want is to get your land. And we will make sure they will never get it. All of you wanting to take Biafra land, we are waiting for all of you. Are you not ashamed? World power. So you have been building world power under deceit and evil. You are a criminal. That law you made for criminal will catch up with you. Stop deceiving yourself for God's sake, man. We were Bia France before you came, man. Allow us to remain here, man. They were Benin Republic men, the Yoruba people. Allow them to become Benin men. They were also Zamfara Republic men. Leave them to become Zamfara Republic men because your atrocity have made God to curse you. You cannot make us to identify with your curse. Prepare yourself. You begin to ask some time. Who is Fulani Hitsman? Who are they? I've seen all of them. Very tiny. But yet they terrorize the whole Africa. They come in for Britain. Who are they? I want you to go and find out. Who are their sponsors? How can a common caturiera, hair breeder, have Vicky 47 that he sued for about 400,000? Between 400 and 500,000. How much is a cow? The cow doesn't belong to them. It belongs to this your political juggernaut. So how did they get a keep 47? Who is sponsoring them? When almost all the governors in Biafra land are Katuriera, and some of you are taking it with a pint of chalk, prepare yourself. Ask yourself a question. Why have they not been persecuted? Look at when they arrest a Niger Delta militant. Look at when they arrest IPOB member. The way they interview them. They will have beaten stupor out of them, beating them to stupor, that they can't even talk any longer. When they catch IPB, they say, oh, yeah, confess. I don't do anything, no. I just do protest so that they kill our people. They will knock it. Come and talk well. Come and talk well. When they catch a militant, Niger Delta, Asari has soon forgotten. When Asari was caught, was it Kano or Kaduna they took him to? When Obasanjo dealt with Asari two, three times, I had the video. The day we played for Asari, we'd be ashamed of himself. And I was like, I don't I do Make us see my doctor. I don't I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm very ashamed now that Asari is jumping up and down for our safu and Yoruba. Prepare yourself because you never know what is coming. No, Obasanjo dealt with Asari and Ateke. The day they come to interview them, they, they don't want to make a mockery of us. Asari was crying. Yeah, this is you because it's my doctor. <laughs> but now he's a warlord. Warlord on the unknown Pama. Warlord of hopeless people. Being paid over 10 million US dollars annually every year. No road in your community. No way to do. None of you will run. The only thing that will save you is before the time is up, Go and join IPUB family. We will look into your matter. We will decide what to do. Did you know that Biafra Nation executed one man and one man alone? His name is Ifajona. The man in charge of the military court martial is from Akwaibon. When he judged Ifajona and found him guilty, he decided that he'd be executed. And Ifajona was executed around 430 or 430, 450. At the eve of the collapse of the Biafra nation. And then good people revolted and said, How hey, can you kill our brother? How will one nanny? How will be nanny? Thunder will fire all of you. You think that thing that happened before will happen now? The, hold that power you think you are holding. You better give us Biafra. If you are not here to give us Biafra, you never know. Adi Amama. Owanecha Gwarubushi or Bushi Gwaronecha. You just answer those questions yourself. What role has the army, the Nigerian armed government played when you talk about Fulani Hesmen? What role should we play in a time like this?
the way they want to uh, 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 investigate a uh, Fulani headsman caught in, 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 in killing, raping, and murdering. They now rob them powder. They now say, Yes, uh, Kotiko, uh, we want to interview you. Kuo. Uh -huh. What happened? Kuo? He said, Yes, no, you, you raped 20 uh, Biafran women. He said, No, Kuo, I didn't rape 20. Before I raped 18, I was, uh, I was, I, I was old. Kuo. I wanted to rape 20. Uh -huh. You wanted to rape 20, he said yes. But you didn't complete it 20, Abi. He said yes, it's okay. You are innocent. Because you would have been guilty if he succeeded in raping 20, Kuo. Have you eaten Kuo? He said, no, I've not eaten Kuo. They will not give him food. And then BBC will not flash it. One da, 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 da. Fulani s three Fulani s have been arrested. And they are said before the court. And go to the court where the Britain government will take these people to. What you will hear is, the when they want to say, court rise. What you hear is, line, 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 They are uh, mad people. My God. What am I trying to say? What message am I trying to pass? More allegations will come. More attack will come. Many people will die. Many people will suffer. A lot of things is going to happen. But you must understand one simple truth. That after this heavy rain, after this heavy rain, if you are not prepared, if you are not prepared, if you are not prepared emotionally, if you are not prepared as a Biafran, if you fail to prepare your family, if you fail to prepare your children, if you fail to prepare your community, if you fail to prepare what is supposed to be prepared <laughs> after this heavy rain, after this heavy rain. Biafran's Got Talent exclusive. After this heavy rain, please let the sun rise. Our lives are in danger, siblings and more that. All day long we have a new past Yes, at this moment our lines are open. Our WhatsApp line remains 070 815 
Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-45642. Our direct line is 081-221-52971. Our direct line is 081-221-52971. Uh, special number for the female is 081-288-58614. Special number for the female is 081-288-58614. Please, when you call, if you are still sleeping, don't bother to call. Please, when you call, behave like a man. Imagine if the war drum has, is, has been blown. We are beating the war drum. Behave like a man and a woman that you are. Of course, you are a dear friend. But if you are Yoruba, Wawosa woman, call this line and mesmerize. Let me cure you. Please, please. The moment I pick your call, move away from your radio set or turn it down. Please. I'm begging you. Of course, our lines are open and you are free to call in. Can you hear me call on the line? Call on the line, are you there? Good morning, sir. Good morning. I hope your radio is down. I'm calling from Amuzuku, Omar, in oh. Gafaland. I'm hearing a voice this morning. And I'm like a little man in the name. Only in the world, only but I'm like a little. And I make a letter on the show, Nanda Kalo. And I make a deputy, Nanda Nara, and a Kastafara, and I make a letter to a study. Was ready, I will only make in the shirt. Hello? The problem is that you are listening to your radio. So you are waiting for me to respond. That is why we tell you get ready. Of course, you you are genuine Biafrans. You want to call. You are not talking to your radio. You are talking to your phone. Stop behaving like as if you don't have sense. Once you are connected, move away from your radio set. Lower your radio and talk. People are listening to you. Stop being entertained. This is how we be giving you order now. Do you be saying hello, 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 hello? And after you are you are mocking full and he me at Yala. But they know how to use they are master of radio with the Yoruba people. Wake up, guys. Don't let don't deceive yourself. Can you hear me call on the line? You see them? You see them. So what are you listening to in your radio? Sometimes I, I need to find out if it's Yoruba or Awosa blood that is coming here. Are you talking to your radio or you are calling Radio Biafra? Give us order, give us order. Ordinary to control your phone, to call online and air your view is difficult for you. Can you hear me call on the line? Hello. Call on WhatsApp. Can you call? Are you there? I'm here, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Go ahead, please. Hello. Will you go ahead, please? This is Chicago. I'm calling from Aba. Will you go ahead, please? Uh, hello. Um, uh, I hope I'm um. Call on the line. Are you there? Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning. Go ahead, please. I'm calling you from here in Aba. Yeah, my brother, it is too much. Yeah, to talk to God, God bless you.
my brother, or you don't know whether the lucky to us, the Afro Mosuli come. As in land, they can't know where you are. Over and over, the same Abu, a fool in the Afro. As in land, they can't know a fool in the Afro man. Also, go on that you can believe in the mess of what you are when you came in. Anybody simply know you are let them I won't be here, me won't be here, me won't be here, by us, I think that the Carlos is your leader, whether you like it or not. I think that the Carlos is your leader, whether we will govern and we will see that, we will be the council, we will only tell you only what first name you are a job, I think that the Carlos is your leader, whether you like it or not. So, I think, you don't need to be my brother. All the work we had, we are here. Diafra will surely come. Thank you very much. Thank I think anybody can look at Diafra happy. Diafra must come. Of course. Who will let it or not? Thank you. We must continue. But you may not get the narrative this morning. You may not even get the narrative even until the end of that. We are asking you prepare yourself. It has started already. Tunubu now have been sent to change the narrative that Evans is the head of kidnapper, but you can't get it. It started already. Oh, he both are the full and he men. This is where they are going to. Yoruba will always play dumb. Yoruba will always play the saboteur. Yoruba will always do the chameleon to get you. You better prepare. Tinubu have started it. Oh, Igbo people are the Fulani Hesmen. Oh, Igbo people are the Meati Allah. Oh, Igbo people are the Boko Haram. It has started already. Can you hear me call on WhatsApp? Yes, uh, good morning, George Oniva. Good morning. From my you. name is Mike. Yes, my name is Mike Okaf. I'm calling from Denmark. It's my, the first time I'm calling you, but I'm a POB member. I'll start by saying that I don't want to thank too much because we are all in this together like our our deputy we say we are all in this together the job is shared with everybody you know i just want to bring our people's attention to this uh, broadcast uh, broadcast of um ait last night between the interview between uh, Fene kayade and uh, this Osto Kichuku. you know and I, I i refer you again to this tinubu the way the tinubu is trying to push everything to Igbo now instead of because the Flannies, they don't, they are tired of hearing that it's Flanny has men. They have tried bandits, it didn't work. They have tried uh, gunmen, it didn't work. Now, now they want to use Tinibu to push it down to that is Igbo, they are the Hesmen. men. And our people, when you listen to this sister, you know, they're trying to defend the, the houses and the Flannies. And how Fenika is trying to tell him what is happening, and he's trying to play ignorance. I say, what kind of we people are we? Collected money. We are the we have collected money. What Deceive is this? your people, and eh? you become famous. Look at all of them everywhere now, deceiving everybody. Yes, you see. Our people very soon they will start killing us because now the voice is, is evil, then everybody will rise up and come together and start killing us. But we are not prepared for that. We are helping them now to you know clean their names, like like in the old days. That's how when they come together, we, we are the champion of one Nigeria. But when 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 that Nigeria starts, they will they push us out and start cleaning us. It's starting again, and our people are there. You know, playing Sabutua. They are trying to play smart. Yeah, you know, they are prepared to run to America and to Britain. It just started for you know, them. We are, we are waiting for them. We are waiting for them anywhere they, they will run to. Because we will start from them. You know, I would just want to want people to be, just be very wise and know. And let's us all continue listening and doing, preparing ourselves. It's not uh, just to listen and just uh, sleep and thinking, no, nothing is happening. Something is happening, my brothers and sisters. We know, we know very well. 
You know, listen to our leader Nam Dukano. He have a lot of message for us. But if you think nothing is happening, you, you will, in the end they will knock at their door. Then you you will you will do like this Ado 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 of uh, the senator that is beating his wife and he was married to a Igbo woman. He killed the, the woman. Now he's saying he's not no he's not bandits because he's a flanny man. He's not bandits. He's, he's um, armed bandits. He's not uh, his man or, or he's denying it. The people are politicizing it. They want to push everything to Ibo. You see, Adeika, a uh, grandson, he's saying, oh, you see, Ibo is not flanny. I wouldn't know why they hate us so much. We are the one that hate ourselves, my brother. Thank you. I tell much. you, we are the one that hate thank ourselves. you very much. We must continue. Can you hear me call on the line? Good morning. Yes, good morning. Go ahead, please. Yeah, my name is Jay I'm calling from London. Um, I really thank God for what he's doing for the Biafra, the IPOP members, that he gave us Nam the Kano, by giving us a voice to speak. You know, what I want to talk about last night, I tried to get you, but I couldn't. It's about people that said, swearing an oath. We had an Igbo day here in London, so people were sharing their paper, their politicians are called one of them. Are you a member of IPOB? He said, I don't want to swear an oath. I asked him one question. I said, did you swear an oath to become a British citizen? He said, yes. I said, you are an idiot. You are a fool. I said, get out of my sight. Then I look at all the people. When we raise up our flag, it's like they are so scared of us. And yet they are evil. God is with us. Our leader always said that our hair will come from the Lord, the God Almighty. Let, the leader, let them be fooling themselves. They say, what I learned from you. I like to speak the way you speak, but I can't. Say it again. Okay, let I want to speak the way you speak. Oh, you may But what I want to say that I took what you told me, I have brought you and the can out. I brought you out. There's a prayer before I've been praying, which is before. He said that may they not speak one language. And that is happening. They will never speak one language. Leave what our people are doing. All Jews or Kalu after him, of course, all of them want to because there's already a cause on them. Um, why? All the women are putting cause on them. The heavens are put cause on them. They are not going anywhere. So, my brother, be resolute. The Lord Almighty, that brought all the unity of IPOB together. The people that said they don't want to be obedient to one master, they belong to the devil. If they are ready, they will be subject to one master, which is in the Kano. God bless you and strengthen you and keep all of you until the day the Afra will come. God bless you. Thank you very much. Bye bye from here. Our people must understand. It is simple. Get ready. Prepare yourself because all those evil will not work. Oh. It will not work. You came late. Can you hear me call on WhatsApp? Call on WhatsApp, are you there? Call on, are you there? Yes, Master. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Good morning, sir. Go ahead. I thank you, Master. The man talking to you is Master John Amogo. Master John Amogo, hail from Ugebe. Ugebe is on a boat, sir. A boat that is in the province. Ugebe is Biafra land, Master. Mother, I want to talk to you this morning because the Almighty God has been with you and has been threatening you for this struggle, Mother. Don't worry what our people are doing. One of these days, they will rise up and see that we are already in Biafra land. Our director, our leader, said that they will sleep at Nigerians 
and break up one morning as, my, as their friend. And that is what is going to happen. Whatever they are doing, whatever they are doing in this our land, the blood of our people that have already died will come against again them again. Now, there is one thing I want to let you know concerning this husband and family people. Those people that thought that it would be very easy for them to come and invade our land. It's not going to happen because God gave us this land. This is a land where we see ourselves. This is the land where we were born. This is the land where God planted us. And these people who are trying to invade our land, it will be, they, what they are doing is lie, man. But let me tell you something. You know what these two and the people are doing? There is a name I give them. This movement into our land. There is a name I give them. Listen to the name, Margaret. Gradual. Margaret. This is a gradual movement to blockade us. And I put it as gradual, systematic blockade. Because in a situation where people have come with so in a situation where the Swahili have come with their cattle to invade our land, and in a situation where these cattle are, 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 are eating all our food, our our input, our farms, in the next season, when when the 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 the, 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 the our time will come up. That is during the harvest time. What are we going to get? Tell me what are we going to get, Margaret? But in a situation where we did not harvest our food, what will happen to us? Is it not hunger? Okay, if anything should happen to us, what will happen? In a situation where there is no food for people to eat, what will happen to that nation? Let me, let, 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 I do this work come. When we start to find them, what will be our strength when we do not feel food to eat? Let our people rise, Mazi. Let me speak to the world. Those people that are in diaspora, our people, the people that are in diaspora, listen to me. If you think that you can relax, and those that are here in our own nation here, yeah, let us rise. It's time for you to rise because what is coming to us is gradual blockading. Okay. They are blockading us gradually. Gradual systematic blockading. Because okay. we are not going to have food again. And in the situation where we do not have food because of the cattle, we will eat all our food, our input, our farm. We will not have anything again. Okay. Don't you say it like that? Okay. Then it will come to, it will come to, to where the, 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 the people who are so vulnerable, we say that it is our that bring us food. Now, the house are the people that all the vulnerable ones have seen that. Thank the house are the people bringing us food. Thank you very when much. we have food here, and their cattle are Thank now trying to finish all our food, my brother. Thank Get up much. and let us fight this system systematically. It is not that we will come to them face to face. We can come to them spiritually and run the world. Let us also use systematic way of fighting them. Oh, Thank life. you very much. We must continue. Call on WhatsApp. Are you there? Hello. Good morning. Right ahead, please. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, depending on where you are, my name is Anselm Dawale. I'm from uh, Abate, Tomumbra Province, Biafra Land. I'm calling from South Africa. Uh, yet another present day. Uh, thank you, Kabia, for giving us a, a day like this. Uh, I can see the cloud has beginning to gather again. It's like what happened in uh, uh, in, in, 1960, 66 to 67. See, because uh, the Yorubas conspire to kill the Biafrans, and uh, it's like they are they trying to form that again. alliance. Yeah, they are gradually they are building it to the gallery. Again. Now, mm. Fulani has yes. been out here, like Boko Haram, now gradually becoming an evil man. And some people are still going to Yoruba church and doing somehow, somehow, that is going to be good. Mm. Go ahead, my brother. Yeah, so, so our people need to wise up now and see what is happening because when they, when they conspire against us, it's only us that we free ourselves because we have nobody, nobody to call for that help. And uh, uh, 
I don't have anything to tell the Yorubas because it has been their nature. But for the Gullibos among us, the dear friends who are helping them to cement their plans. I don't like uh, using scriptures, but we cannot do without it. They said, who will betide those who will allow it to happen to them because he said that those who are instigating bad people, it's difficult for it to stop bad things. It's difficult for it to, that is, what do they call it, a scandal. They say it is difficult for scandal to stop, but what betide those who instigate it among his people? So our people who are behaving in suspicious ways, who are causing us these pains, it will never be well with them because they are the major problem we have at this point in time. Our people should change their ways and follow the gospel that we are preaching today because if they don't repent, there was a information I have here that somebody a Nigerian was strangled to death is a is a is a government official here in South Africa, and uh, and I'm still investigating because I haven't got the name of that person. Those who are doing this thing, causing us this problem back home, they should know that there is no hiding place for them. Right here in South Africa, if you finish rubbish in Nigeria and run to this place, we will wait for you. It's not safe for you. We cannot allow it to happen. Same thing applies to all over the world. If they give you a visa to run to South Africa as a government official, and you are in Nigeria pioneering the killing of our people, there is no safe haven for you in South Africa. Likewise, other countries in the world, when our people are dying, and it's time for you to follow suit because what you sow, you shall reap. You will want to run Thank away. You when you much. come here, we will strangle you and we will face the same consequences. Thank That's you all much. I have to say for now. Thank, Thank you. you. Much. We must continue. Some people think, oh, let's run away. That place you are running to, you will know that some people have run there before you. They didn't go there because they wanted to go there. They went there because you frustrated them here. So no country in the world will save any Nigeria, whether you are Yoruba or you are Awosa. You will never find solids. You will never find a hiding place anywhere in the world, except we have not been there. You chased us away before now. You chased us away. We were compelled to travel around the globe. We are being murdered like animals. And then you are coming that same place to have to have comfort. Do not think we are coming for you in a black skin. We are ready in a white skin. We are ready in a yellow skin. We are ready in a purple skin. We are ready in every color of homo sapiens upon the face of the planet Earth. No way we hide all of you. The world better begin to need to restake data. Because what will come if Biafra is not free? Well, I'm not boosting. I'm not threatening anybody. I'm making you a promise for the avoidance of that. Can you hear me call on WhatsApp? Yes, Master George. Good Go ahead, morning, sir, my brother. Yes, sir. My name is Che Mwongoki Kugo Chuku. I am calling you from India. I hear from Mbwe. Mbwe is in Olu province, Biafra land. Mazi, please permit me to appreciate you, Koki Kabiam, and acknowledge my leader, Mazi Namoji Okukano, Onye Zoku, Chukoki, I neck a lady, I nebula hagelu, Chukukari Wakerova, Onye Nanya Bezibochi, Nanarekele, Gisi Worugi, Mazi Nande Kano, Nana Siki Kukomu Neku, Kahapi Kutomu IPOB, One Kuniru Kaino Denazo, One Kunazo, Kaino Diniru. On a Kuniru Nekuna, so kind of the Nati Chukoki, Betrayos of Betrayas, or Popaya number, I have Chiki die. Now, Hachukoki Kaiba, Mapurimi, he say, he say, he say, Mazi, my brother, may Chukoki Kaiba, my protect you are going here, coming back also, Mazi, because you are the eyes we are seeing now. I greet all the whole principal officers under the leadership of Mazi Nandekano, anywhere you find yourself. You are under Mazin Nandekano. You are my blood. May Chukwo Kikaiba Ama protect us. Mazi, see what is happening in that country now, that contraction now called Nigeria. People that is far from Nigeria are running from Nigeria. And those that is close to Nigeria that is witnessing what is happening there in their eyes cannot speak, cannot stand for what they 
know, cannot stand for what they know. You are fighting for one Nigeria. One Nigeria now is rejecting you, and you are still putting your head. Emazi, you see anywhere you find all these Nigerian people now, very, very lazy, very lazy and stupid people. I can assure you, Mazi, a Nigerian person now cannot plan what he will do now to survive than to mislead his brother, than to deceive his sister, than to form one organization, stupid organization, illegal organization that is not even recognized in the country they find themselves, just to be extracting money from our people. You hustle finish, they find out you don't have documents, they will call police to come to your house and rake you. That is what our people are, that is what is our people are doing. Our people cannot understand the brotherly love. People, the country you are into, you love them. You see how they behave. Sometimes you speak about them. Then what about you? Don't you have brothers? Don't you have sisters? Can't you unite to them? Anything they are remembering, their friends, is when something evil happens. One person has been killed now. One person, one woman has been killed now. All the whole Nigerians now is at run. But they forget how many people they have killed in Enugu. They forget how many people they have killed in Yumo states. They forget how many people they have killed in different, different cities in Biafra land. Osi Banjo, you are not seeing when our mother we are arrested in Owere for illegal arresting, just for protest for their freedom. They were arrested, put inside the jail without warrant. None of them, Tinubu, all of them, they are, do nobody speak. And all these Yoruba people now are the one coming now that we IPOB will unite again to them. And someone will come and tell us that our leader is meeting Sorowa uh, or Sorowanka. What, what did they call that uh, media stupid man? Our, our leader is meeting him and we and IPOB and the Yoruba will fight together. My brother, any day IPOB unite with I, 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 with Yoruba people, I will, man, I will run. I will, I will, hang I will run. I will, hang I will run. Man, I cannot I be fooled. I will I run. Ah. Anybody here, my, my, anybody here, my boss knows what I'm saying. Any day that say Yoruba and IPOB unite together to fight together, I will call you, Ma. Say, my time is up. Please, this is the place. That I'm time, dying. my own battery will run down. My own battery will run I, down. I will be. I will be there. So, Ma, I will say you now. Thank you very people, much. Please, let us regard what we have. Let us regard what we have. We are, we are Biafra. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, Biafra. It is just simple. Let nobody deceive you. Do I hate Yoruba? No. Do I hate Aosa? No. This is who they are. Our topic this morning is simple. Prepare yourself. Prepare thou yourself, Adia Mama. Kwademe ijelu, kwademe ijelu. Nisha wakole yo ni mwakole yo ibi jeko ijenu. Nisha wakole yo ni mwakole yo ibi jeko ijenu. You can be there trying to analyze the situation. You know it is Manchester and uh, Chelsea. Be analyzing it. It will dawn on you when you are least prepared. Don't let anybody deceive you. Can you hear me call on WhatsApp? Don't let anybody deceive you. Can you hear me call on WhatsApp? Hello. Good morning. Go ahead. The world is listening. Hello. Good morning, everybody. We are friends all over the world. What's your name? Am I coming out? Of course, the world is listening to you. Okay. My lovely people. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, wherever you are, depending on your time zone. My name is Madam Tessie Chojo from Amish. Now we south in Biafra land, reside here in Catalonia, Spain. Mazonibe, you will live long, 24 hours, and see Biafra. Likewise with our able leader, Mazenan de Cano, our deputy, and all the principal officers worldwide, Biafra. And using this opportunity to thank Kabiama for the life of our leader. But what we are saying this morning, 24 hours, you are 100% right. Be upfront, wake up. Wake up, please, my lovers of freedom. Wake up, let open your ear, open your eyes. What is happening in our what is happening in our land today is hundred percent major is hundred percent right. Please try to listen and open your eyes. For those of you who doesn't believe in Biafra, try to believe because 
Although we are not begging, but we are not fighting for any other land than our great land, dear France. Wake up and join hands. Let us join hands together and fight this struggle once and for all. It will help us. It will help our generation. generation. Please, what that is what I'm begging. Thank you. For those of you doubt, I know there's one somebody called me last time. He said, Hey mama, all this your Biafra, Biafra, when are we going to get it? I say, okay, listen to me. You are asking me this question, an evil man. I say, okay, listen. Did you hear in the social media that somebody from Lagos or Kaduna went to his village? Do you know what is he see in his house? Full of the men and the family and the cow, they are in that compound. The man ran to the police station, but he didn't do anything. But I don't want to be praying or, or cause anybody. What I'm begging is that if you refuse to, to listen and continue doubting, and continue doubting, that thing that happened to that man, you are in Lagos or in your abroad. You don't want to ask for the people that are living in your hometown, your village, where he was born. If you don't take time, that thing that happened to that man, the day you go to your village, what you see there is family husband and their family, and nobody will come to your rescue. So this is your time to wake up now and join the struggle. That is what I'm saying this morning. May the spirit of Elohim and people can be continue guiding us. Stop Thank that in mind. We must continue. Stop that in mind. I don't need to go for that. My Thank continue you. with your good work. Quote, our struggle is here. Our freedom is here. But for Thank that in Thomas, I pity for all of you. I pity for all of you. Thank you. Can you hear me call on the line? Go ahead, please. Good morning, Go ahead. Good morning sir. Go ahead, please. I want to thank you this morning for your good work. I thank our leader, Mazen Namdekalo, and our deputy, Mazen Chemefo. I say, may God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Mazen, there is something I always observe in our values. First of all, my name is Rima Agodichi. I'm calling from Potakos and from other states. Oh my. Well, I uh, hope that uh, obey to Abba. If you went here now, army, they block, divide that road in the two. Block with the uh, drum and plant flower inside the drum or uh, at the center of the road. When we want to pass, the other line will stop and this side will pass before the other side. Just causing hold up along the road every day, collecting money. Now, what I'm seeing in that road, I'm tired. But I pray to God Almighty that one day all these small things will stop. Along that place, they are saying, we will see our safranes. They are putting small, small batter there, buying their nonsense uh, at the million. Before you know it, now they will develop there. That place will become their house. The people that own that place cannot find because you know how they will live there and somebody will find no. When you come, they, they, they may kill you and claim that place. I am tired of this nonsense, people. But I pray that we want all this rubbish will stop. I thank you very much. Continue your good work. In thank Jesus you very name. much. We must continue. No, they will build Bacha. You will leave them. Army is protecting them. Before you know it, will become a Osa community, Fulani community, in your own land. You can't talk. And somebody is speaking grammar. You know, somebody is trying to be intellectual. Very connected and exposed. Where has he led us to? Mad people. Can you hear me call on WhatsApp? Good morning from here. Uh, my name is Okay for no see you. Okay for no see you from Omar Kadachi. Omar Kai is in a Imo province of Bayafala and Ponquem. Uh, Hamadika, a member of Zoshiku Pesuana. Good morning, wherever you are. I'm a watch, I say good morning and good morning to all your fans, wherever you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. Uh, Mazi, we will continue to talk. We will continue to talk. I just want to be brief and concise to the point. I don't want to take much of the time because I know you don't have time. Mazi, if we can listen with me, if you can believe with me, our people, our people 
our people, Yoruba people, Yoruba media did a lot of damage. 50 years and above is not easy. That is why we will continue to talk. We are eating fruit, too. But in my senior, I think we are not having it. We are having it, all, my brother. And the whole world is hearing not. When we, when I'm saying it, and Ugochuku in London say we are crying that when, wherever you are, we are not afraid. We are Nero. We are more than eight, eight countries of the world. When it starts, Every 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 look and credo will fill it up where we are. And I thank Eke Krowa, Chuko Kabia, that Trump has started it. I wish that other European country, other other continent will follow suit, my brother. Because most of them feel comfortable there. Nothing is happening. Yeah, you don't you forget where you are coming from. Most of them feel that they are very comfortable in Europe. You don't know you have a home. I like what Trump is doing. Mas yesterday I watched a program in India. When, when our boys heard some of the officials that went to their Nigeria water consulate, they couldn't allow them to enter. And I love what our brother just said now for South Africa. That is to tell them that this, this battle cannot only happen in Biafra land. It will happen all over the place. We are ready for them. If they don't that, know, that, that means, the that means they, they are not reasoning. That house, they yeah, are buying brother, a Bishop we... Avenue in London. Everywhere across the globe, they are buying. We are taking record of all of them. Let them come. British must understand that we have British Biafra. Israel must understand that we have Israel Biafra. America must understand that we have America. I'm not giving them a school. But I'm saying it for those who think yeah, that they, yeah, they are going are to keep them. one Nigeria and run to America. Don't worry. Those people you chase out to America or anywhere in the world, out of frustration, are waiting for you. Go ahead, my brother. Yeah, that is what. Yeah, my brother. This is what our director said. It. My leader, our members, Oshugu Pesa, said it in America. There is a purpose why God brought us here in different part of the world. That there is a purpose. So we are waiting for that saboteur. They will come here, and very soon we will start. We will start killing them here. Even their children. We know all of them. We know where they study. We meet them everywhere. Mas we meet them everywhere. So let them not think they will spoil that country and come here and stay. It's not done. That is what I have to tell. The only thing I have to close now, tell my people from Omaka. Omaka. Thank you. Omaka. Omaka, prepare yourself. Amri, Amandewek, Omondowa, Amibo. All of you, prepare yourself. Our member, our all those who, let our area. They cannot penetrate us. Thank you very much. keep all of you. Be resolute and be watchful. Bye-bye. Thank you. Everybody get ready. And then a special announcement before I sign up. That will be our last caller. There is a, a very vital information coming from the head of the DOS, Mazi Chika Edusian. And I want you to pass it on to Biafrans, most especially those in Anambra State. Anambra State coordinator is Mazi Chidozie Onwantuigu. Mazi Chidozie Onwantuigu is Anambra State coordinator. Anambra North Senatorial coordinator is Mazi Chukunonsu Alefuna. Anambra North Senatorial Coordinator is Mazi Chinonsu Alifuna. Anambra South Senatorial Coordinator is Mazi Chikodele Mbama. Mazi Chikodele Mbama is the Anambra South Senatorial Coordinator. And Anambra Central Senatorial Coordinator is Mazi Odenaka Okunkwo. Those of you from Anambra State, take note of these three Senatorial Coordinators and also the state coordinator. This message is coming from the head of the DOS, Mazi Chika Iduziem. They will know. I will be signing off from here. And God be with all of you. God be with all of you. All hail dear friends, the land of rises This is our flag, the sign of unity. This is our nation, the mother of freedom. Welcome to my home. This is my motherland. In the world, we sing all hail.
Oh, 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 oh,